us stand up for today's morning worship service. Let's pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all deserts known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's sing together hymn number 169. Let's sing together hymn number 169, followed by the lesson readings. The first lesson is taken from Ezekiel 37, verses 15 to 28. Ezekiel 37, verses 15 to 28. Again, a message came to me from the Lord. Son of man, take a piece of wood and carve on it these words. This represents Judah and its allied tribes. Then take another piece and carve these words on it. This represents Ephraim and the northern tribes of Israel. Now hold them together in your hand as if they were one piece of wood. When your people ask you what your actions mean, say to them, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. I will take Ephraim and the northern tribes and join them to Judah. I will make them one piece of wood in my hand. 
Then hold out the pieces of wood you have inscribed so the people can see them and give them this message from the sovereign Lord. I will gather the people of Israel from among the nations. I will bring them home to their own land from the places where they have been scattered. I will unify them into one nation on the mountains of Israel. One king will rule them all. No longer will they be divided into two nations or into two kingdoms. They will never again pollute themselves with their idols and vile images and rebellion, for I will save them from their sinful backsliding. I will cleanse them. They will be truly my people, and I will be their God. My servant David will be their king, and they will have only one shepherd. They will obey my regulations and be careful to keep my decrees. They will live in the land I give my servant Jacob, the land where their ancestors lived. They and their children and their grandchildren after them will live there forever, generation after generation. And my servant David will be their prince forever, and I will make a covenant of peace among them, an everlasting covenant. I will give them their land and increase their numbers. I will put my temple among them forever. I will make my home among them. I will be their God, and they will be my people. And when my temple is among them forever, the nations will know that I am the Lord who makes Israel holy. Here ends the first lesson. The second lesson is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 10 through 17. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 10 through 17. I appeal to you, dear brothers and sisters, by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ, to live in harmony with each other. Let there be no divisions in the church. Rather, be of one mind, united in thought and purpose. For some members of Chloe's household have told me about your quarrels. My dear brothers and sisters, some of you are saying, I'm a follower of Paul. Others are saying, I follow Apollos, or I follow Peter, or I follow only Christ. Have Christ been divided into factions? Was I, Paul, crucified for you? Were any of you baptized in the name of Paul? Of course not. I thank God that I did not baptize any of you except Crispus and Gaius. For now, no one can say they were baptized in my name. Oh yes, I also baptized the house of Stephanus, but I don't remember baptizing anyone else. For Christ didn't send me to baptize, but to preach the good news, and not with clever speech for fear that the cross of Christ would lose his power. This ends the second lesson. This ends the second lesson.
Christ, born of Mary, baptized by John, have mercy on us. We magnify you, O Lord our King, only begotten Son, Word of the Father, Lord Jesus Christ, immortal in your nature, who was born of the Virgin Mary, but alive for salvation of all mankind. Without change of nature, he became the Son of Man and was crucified for us. That the trembling death on your foot and be shown forever. You are Lord of the Holy Trinity and are worshiped and glorified, equally with your Father and your living and Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Ado, O of your holy gospel, the teachings of the apostles, the riches of your divine wisdom, and the gift of your Holy Spirit, enable us to obey your commands gladly and to fulfill your holy will perfectly. Amen. From the epistle of Paul to Ephesians. Praise you, Lord of the apostles, O Lord, grant us grace to discern your word. It was he who gave gifts to mankind. He appointed some to be apostles, others to be prophets, others to be evangelists, others to be pastors and teachers. He did this to prepare all God's people for work of Christian service in order to build up the body of Christ. And so we shall all come together to the oneness in our faith and in our knowledge to the Son of God. We shall become mature people reaching to the very height of Christ's full stature. Then we shall no longer be children carried by the waves and blown about by every shifting wind of the teaching of deceitful men, who lead others into error by the tricks they invented. Instead, by speaking the truth in the spirit of love, we must grow up in every way of Christ, who is the head. Under his control, all the different parts of the body fit together, and the whole body is held together by every joint with which it is provided. So when each separate part works as it should, the whole body grows and builds itself up through love. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Offer sacrifice of praise to the Lord. Come and worship in his holy courts. Brothers and sisters, let us stand in silence, O oh, one reverence, and listen to the proclamation of the living word of God from the law gospel of Jesus Christ our Lord. Peace be with you all. May the Lord make us worthy to listen to his word. The holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ 
which proclaims life and salvation to the world as recorded by the Apostle Matthew. The days of Jesus Christ, our great God and Savior, Word of life, God incarnate of the Blessed Virgin Mary, it happened in this way. So we believe in a Now when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Son of God, and Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whoever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Peace be with you all. And also with you, we thank you, Lord, that you give us the message gospel, which is light of the world, to draw us closer to you, and need us by your grace to give praise to you, let us pray to the Lord for his blessings and mercy. O Lord, help us continually to offer praise and thanksgiving to you, to him who absolves us from our debts and pardons our sins. To him who receives a penitent and rejoices in the return of sinners. To him who has promised, call and I will answer, knock and I will open and stretch forth my hand to pardon your sins and iniquities. To him belong glory and honor and worship, this time and all the days of our lives. Almighty and glorious Lord, save us from the wiles of the evil one. Lord, in your grace and mercy, you took flesh of the Blessed Virgin Mary and became human. Lord of Lords, do not banish us from your presence and from the company of the angels who continually praise your holy name and proclaim aloud that the Lord God is holy. Show us the way of life and salvation so that we may persevere to attain your glorious kingdom. Lord Jesus, look upon us with the eye of mercy. Save us from our enemies and all that would hurt us. Protect us in the shadow of your cross. Lord Jesus, save us from all deceit and grief. Save us from all evil thoughts, defilement, and blasphemy. Lord Jesus, make us to rejoice with all the children of your kingdom. To you and to the Father and to the Holy Spirit, we ascribe all praise and thanksgiving, now and forever. Amen. O Lord God, who makes the sinner righteous, Pardon our sins and make us holy. Blot out all my sins. Through your loving mercy, good Lord, wipe away the sin of all believers. O Lord God, in your mercy and goodness, 
Remember us, our parents, brothers and sisters, our bishops, clergy, teachers of the faith, and all faithful children of your holy and glorious church. Lord God, comfort us in body, mind and spirit. Shower your mercy upon us. Be the remission of our sins. Make us all worthy of the good end that is set for all children of peace. To you we offer praise and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Weak and sinful as we are, let us confess and together say, Holy is the Holy Father. Amen. Holy Holy Son, Amen. Holy is the living and Holy Spirit. Amen. We believe in the one true God, the Father Almighty. Came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, and was made man. He was crucified on the cross, the days of Pontius Pilate, suffered and died and was buried. The third day he rose again, by his own will, ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in the glory church, both the living and the dead, and the speaking there will be no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who through the Father and Son together is worshiped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets and apostles. We believe in the one holy Catholic and apostolic church, the acknowledgement of the forgiveness of sins, and the glory of the resurrection of the dead, and the new life of the world to come. Amen. Please be seated. Those who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries, please come forward for the Thanksgiving prayer. Then the next sotra prathna gaitam, vivaha varshika sotra prathna gaitam, even the two lovers, prathna gaitam and bodhi gaitam. you we glorify you for this time that you've given us to be in your presence thank you master for the blessing of life thank you for each day for the strength the health the possibilities that you keep adding to us O oh master especially these thy children who are entering into a new year of their life we commit them into your hands and we pray that you will be with them, that you will strengthen them, that you will enable them, O oh Master, to receive new blessings each day of their life and to fulfill the purpose that God has about them, O oh Master. We live in a world where we are always dependent on you, O oh Master. We know that we cannot do anything without, with, with our own power, but only by the Holy Spirit's power every day. We pray that you will continue to strengthen them, empower them, so that they will live a life which will be worthy of the great calling that is upon them, O Master. Let them be a blessing to their family, to this parish, and to this community. We also want to place before you those who are celebrating their wedding anniversaries. We place them before you. We pray that you will continue to bless their family lives. 
We pray that you will enable them, O Master, to fulfill the purpose that God has about them in their family life. Let everything that they do together bring glory to your name, O Master. Be with them, help them to love each other, to care for each other, to forgive each other, and to walk together in prayer, depending upon you, and to fulfill that great purpose that God has for them. Let their family be a blessing to people around them, to this parish, and also, Master, we bring glory to your name. We pray for everyone who was unable to be here, wherever they are, as they submit themselves before the Lord. We pray that you will accept their dedication, bless them, and strengthen them. In Jesus' name we pray. അറിയിക്കട്ടെ അനുശോചനമുള്ളത് അറിയിക്കുന്നു മിസ്സസ് പൊടിയമ്മ ഈപ്പൻ ദ കേഡത്ത് ഹൗസ് ചെങ്ങമ്മനാട് കൊട്ടാരക്കര സെവൻറ്റി ഫോർ ഇയേഴ്സ് ഓൾഡ് സിസ്റ്റർ ഓഫ് അവർ പാരിഷ് മെമ്പേഴ്സ് മിസ്റ്റർ ജോൺ ജോർജ് അക്കൗണ്ട് നമ്പർ എയ്റ്റ് മിസ്റ്റർ ജോർജ് കുട്ടി ജോർജ് അക്കൗണ്ട് നമ്പർ ഫിഫ്റ്റി ഫോർ ആൻഡ് മിസ്സസ് മറിയാമ്മ മാത്യു അക്കൗണ്ട് നമ്പർ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് നയൻറ്റി ഫോർ പ്രിയപ്പെട്ട ജോണച്ചാൻ്റെയും ജോർജ്ജാൻ്റെയും മുറിയാമ്മമാടെയും സഹോദരി മിസസ് പൊടിയമ്മ ഈപ്പൻ്റെ ദേഹവിയോഗത്തിൽ സുഖത്തിലായിരിക്കുന്ന കുടുംബങ്ങളെ ഓർത്തുകൊണ്ട് പ്രത്യേകമായി നമുക്ക് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാം ഫ്യൂണറൽ സർവീസ് കഴിഞ്ഞ ദിവസം കൊട്ടാരക്കരിൽ വെച്ച് നടത്തപ്പെട്ടു ദൈവം തമ്പുരാൻ നൽകുന്നതായിട്ടുള്ള പ്രത്യാശയിലും സമാധാനത്തിലും ദുഃഖത്തിലായിരിക്കുന്ന ഈ പ്രിയപ്പെട്ട കുടുംബങ്ങളെ ദൈവം ആശ്വസിപ്പിക്കട്ടെ എന്ന് നമുക്ക് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാം ക്രിസ്തോസ് മർദ്ദമായിട്ട് വയ്യയിലെ എല്ലാ ഫാമിലി മെമ്പേഴ്സിൻ്റെയും എല്ലാ പ്രിയപ്പെട്ടവരുടെയും പേരുള്ളതായ കണ്ടോൾസസ് അനുശോചനം ഈ സമയത്ത് അറിയിക്കുന്നു അനുശോചന സൂചനമായി നമുക്കൊരു നിമിഷം എഴുന്നേറ്റ് നൽകാം ജീവൻ്റെ മേലും മരണത്തിൻ്റെ മേലും അധികാരമുള്ളവനായ ഞങ്ങളുടെ ദൈവമേ അവിടുന്ന് ഈ ലോകത്ത് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ജീവിക്കുവാൻ അവസരം തരുന്നത് പോലെ അങ്ങയുടെ സമയമാകുമ്പോൾ ഈ ലോകത്ത് നിന്ന് ഞങ്ങളെല്ലാവരും വിളിച്ച് നിൻ്റെ സന്നിധിയിലേക്ക് അടുക്കപ്പെടേണ്ടവരാണ് എന്നുള്ളതായ ബോധ്യം എല്ലായ്പ്പോഴും ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് നൽകണമേ എന്ന് പ്രത്യേകമായി പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു ഈ ലോകത്തിനപ്പുറമായൊരു നിത്യത ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി നീ ഒരുക്കിയിട്ടുണ്ട് എന്നും ദൈവവിഷയമായി ഞങ്ങൾ സമ്പന്നരായി ഭൂമിയിൽ ജീവിപ്പാൻ നിൽക്കുവണം ഞങ്ങളെ ഇവിടുന്ന് സഹായിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യണമേ എന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു തങ്ങളുടെ സഹോദരിയുടെ വേർപാടെങ്കിൽ ദുഃഖത്തിലായിരിക്കുന്ന ഈ പ്രിയപ്പെട്ട കുടുംബങ്ങളെ ദൈവകരങ്ങളിലേക്ക് ഏൽപ്പിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് പ്രത്യേകമായി പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു കർത്താവെ പലപ്പോഴും ലോകത്തിൻ്റെ ഞങ്ങളുടെ വാക്കുകൾ ഞങ്ങളുടെ സമാധാനങ്ങളൊക്കെ പരിമിതി ഉള്ളതാണ് പരിമിതികളില്ലാത്ത ദൈവ സാന്നിധ്യവും ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ ആശ്വാസവും സമാധാനവും നിന്റെ മക്കളുടെ ജീവിതത്തിൽ അനുഭവിപ്പാനും പ്രത്യാശയോടുകൂടി കൃഷ്ണമുള്ള ആയുസ് നിലനിൽപ്പാനും നിന്റെ മക്കളെ അവിടുന്ന് സഹായിക്കണമേ എന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു ഞങ്ങളുടെ പ്രാർത്ഥന ബലഹീനരായിരിക്കുന്ന ഞങ്ങളുടെ പ്രാർത്ഥന പ്രിയപ്പെട്ട മക്കൾക്ക് ആശ്വാസത്തിന് കാരണമായി തീർന്നു ഈ ദിവസങ്ങളിലൊക്കെ വേർപാട് ദുഃഖത്തിലായിരിക്കുന്ന മറ്റ് ഭവനങ്ങളെയും ഞങ്ങൾ ഓർക്കുന്നു സ്വർഗീയമായ സമാധാനവും ആശ്വാസവും നിന്റെ മക്കൾക്ക് എല്ലാവർക്കും നൽകി ദൈവമേ നീ അവിടുന്ന് പരിപാലിക്കണമേ ആശ്വസിപ്പിക്കണമേ എന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു അങ്ങയുടെ മഹത്വം ഞങ്ങളെല്ലാവരും അനുഭവിപ്പാണ്ടക്കണം സഹായിക്കണം യേശു ശിഹാ മൂലം ഞങ്ങൾ അങ്ങയുടെ അപേക്ഷിക്കുന്നു ദൈവം ഒന്ന് കേൾക്കുമാറാകണമേ ആമേ പ്ലീസ് പ്ലീസ് ഇറ്റ് ജാനുവരി മാസം ഈ തേർഡ് സൺഡേയിൽ പ്രിയപ്പെട്ട തോമസ് കെ മാധുച്ചൻ നമ്മളോടൊപ്പം ഇന്നായിരിക്കുകയും വിശുദ്ധ കുർബാന ശുശ്രൂഷയ്ക്കും തിരുവചന ശുശ്രൂഷയ്ക്കും നേർ നൽകുന്നല്ലോ അച്ഛനെ വളരെ സന്തോഷത്തോടു വീണ്ടും ഇടവകയിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം ചെയ്യുക നമ്മുടെ സൺഡ സ്കൂളുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെട്ട് സൺഡ സ്കൂൾ എക്സാംസ് ഈ വർഷം ഓൺലൈനിലൂടെയാണ് നടത്തപ്പെടുന്നത് അത് പ്രത്യേകം പേരൻസ് ശ്രദ്ധിക്കുകയും കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളെ അതിനായിട്ട് ഈ ദിവസം ഈ നാളുകളിലൊക്കെ ഒരുക്കുകയും ചെയ്യണമെന്ന് സ്നേഹത്തോടെ ഓർപ്പിക്കുക 
കാരണം കഴിഞ്ഞ ഒരു പാൻഡമിക്ക് തുടങ്ങിയതായ സമയം മാർച്ച് മാസം തുടങ്ങിയതുകൊണ്ട് കഴിഞ്ഞ വർഷത്തെ എക്സാംസ് നടത്തുവാനായി ഡയസെഷൻ എക്സാംസ് ഒന്നും നടത്തുവാനായിട്ട് സാധിച്ചില്ല എന്നാൽ ഈ പുതിയ സാഹചര്യത്തിൽ ഈ ന്യൂ നോർമലിൽ നമ്മുടെ കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ സ്റ്റഡീസും കാര്യങ്ങളും ഒക്കെ അത്തരത്തിൽ ഓൺലൈൻ സംവിധാനങ്ങൾ കൂടുതൽ ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്നത് കൊണ്ട് ഈ വർഷത്തെ ഡയസെഷൻ എക്സാം പതിവ് പോലെ തന്നെ മിക്കവാറും മെയ് മാസം ആയിരിക്കും നടത്തപ്പെടുന്നത് ഗ്രേഡ് ഫിഫ്ത്ത് ഗ്രേഡ് മുതൽ മുകളിലോട്ടുള്ളതായ കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങൾക്കാണ് ഡയസെഷൻ എക്സാം ഉള്ളത് അതുകൊണ്ട് പേരൻസ് ഇപ്പോഴേ ശ്രദ്ധിക്കണം എക്സാം ഇല്ല എന്ന് വിചാരിച്ച് അവരെ പഠിക്കാതിരിക്കുവാനായിട്ട് ശ്രദ്ധ മുഴപ്പുവാനായിട്ട് ഇടവരരുത് അതുകൊണ്ട് വളരെ ഗൗരവത്തോടുകൂടി അവരെ പഠിപ്പിക്കുവാനായി പേരൻസ് പ്രത്യേകം ശ്രദ്ധിക്കണം എന്നും വളരെ സ്നേഹത്തോടെ ഓർപ്പിക്കട്ടെ ഈ ദിവസങ്ങളിലൊക്കെ നമ്മുടെ ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻ്റെ മീറ്റിങ്ങുകൾ അതുപോലെ തന്നെ പ്രാർത്ഥനാ മീറ്റിങ്ങുകളൊക്കെ ഓൺലൈൻ പ്ലാറ്റ്ഫോമിലൂടെയാണ് നടത്തപ്പെടുന്നത് അതുകൊണ്ട് എല്ലാവർക്കും സമ്മതിപ്പാനായിട്ടുള്ള സാധ്യതകളുണ്ട് അതുകൊണ്ട് ഈ അവസരങ്ങളൊക്കെ നിങ്ങൾ വളരെ സന്തോഷത്തോടുകൂടി പ്രയോജനപ്പെടുത്തണം എന്നുള്ളതും ഓർപ്പിക്കുന്നു എല്ലാ ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻ്റെയും സെക്രട്ടറിമാർ അത് ആനുവൽ കമ്മിറ്റി ഒക്കെ വിളിച്ചുകൂട്ടി ആനുവൽ റിപ്പോർട്ടും കണക്കും ഒക്കെ പാസ്സാക്കേണ്ടതായ സമയമുണ്ടല്ലോ അതുകൊണ്ട് നിങ്ങളത് പ്രത്യേകം അതിൽ ശ്രദ്ധിച്ച് ചെലുത്തണം എന്നുള്ളതും സ്നേഹത്തോടെ ഓർപ്പിക്കുന്നു നോ കോ വിൽ സിങ് എ സോങ് ആൻഡ് ഓഫ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ടേക്ക് സോങ് നമ്പർ ത്രീ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് ഫിഫ്റ്റി നയൻ Let's pray. Father, we thank you for all the blessings in our life. We thank you, O oh Master, for the opportunities that you have given us. We thank you for the homes that you have blessed us with. Thank you for the work, for the jobs, for everything that you have given us, the source of incomes that we have. And we submit ourselves before you. And as a token of our submission, we place this offer tree into your hands. We pray that you will use it for your glory. Help us, O oh Master, to be faithful stewards of all that you have given us so that our lives will be a blessing to people around us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise be to God. I thank and praise God for this beautiful day that God has given us to be in the presence of the Lord, worshiping God. I thank God for all of you here in the sanctuary and also those of you who are participating in this worship from homes. As I stand here, may I again take this opportunity to wish each and every one of you a very blessed Happy New Year. May the year 2021 bring new blessings to each one of us so that we will be able to experience more and more the presence of God and to fulfill God's purpose through us. Today, the church 
dwells upon the theme, church, the body of Christ. Church, the body of Christ. And I read from Ephesians chapter 1, verses 22 and 23. And he put all things under his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. Church, the body of Christ, the fullness of him who fills all in all. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this time that you've given us to be in your presence. This morning, as we sit at your feet to meditate upon your words, we know, Master, it's only when the Spirit of God reveals the truth, we will be able to understand the truth. We are here from various homes, from various life experiences, and we know that you have a special message to each one of us. Not my words, O oh Lord, but let your spirit minister so that your name will be glorified and that your people will be transformed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It is the body of Christ we can claim to be the church. If so, we can define the church as the people of God loved by God the Father, redeemed by the blood of Christ, empowered by the Holy Spirit to fulfill the purpose of God today in this world. I repeat that again. If, if Christ is the body, if church is the body of Christ, we are loved by God, redeemed by the blood of the Spirit, empowered by the Holy Spirit to fulfill the purpose that God has for us in our lives. So the church is beyond this building. The church is beyond this worship service or the gatherings that we have. The church is beyond the committee and the organizations that we have. The church is you and me fulfilling the purpose that God has for us each day. The church is you and me sharing the love of God to people around us each day. The church is you and me caring for the needy every day. The church is you and me bringing reconciliation and peace in this broken world. The church is you and me bringing justice and mercy in the abusive world that we are living today. The church is you and me bringing hope to people in despair today. Many times, when we say that the church is not good, it is all a sham, it is all politics, we are, we are just trying to point fingers maybe at a few people in leadership and trying to put the church on their heads and take a step back and say, I'm not part of that. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible says, when we are the body of Christ, when we have become a part of this body of Christ by baptism, each one of us is the church. And all that we do in our lives is part of the church. For those of us here in this sanctuary this morning, the church does not end when the service ends today. For those of us in home, viewing this maybe as a live streaming, the church doesn't end when it is switched off, but rather Jesus wants us to continue live streaming him in every day of our lives 
every moment. That is what the church is. We are live streaming the very love of Jesus through things that we do. You and I, when we go out to the market, when we go out to our schools, to our colleges, to our workplaces, we are live streaming Jesus 24-7 in this world till the moment we die. And that is the church. So let me share four thoughts from the four readings that we had uh, just uh, read now and wrap up my sermon on who is the church. Matthew chapter 16 and verse 16, that was the gospel portion that we read. And here, Simon Peter says, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Here, Jesus was doing a kind of a self-appraisal Recently, we, Achans, we were asked to do a self-appraisal by the diocesan bishop, and that was really interesting. I'm sure all of you do it in your uh, workplaces too. Here, Jesus also wanted to know what the people were talking about him. He asked, what does the people say about me? So some said, maybe you're John the Baptist, some say you're Elijah, some say you're Jeremiah or some other prophet. That's what people say about Jesus. Then he comes to the next question and he asks uh, them, so what do you guys say that I am? Who do you say that I am? And as we always know, Peter is the one who is very bold at, at every moment. He jumps up and he says, we know that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. The Christ, the Son of the the living God. He was putting a very definitive statement, a definitive proclamation about the church. So first and foremost, who is the church? I would say church is the one who proclaims the Messiah. Church is the one who proclaims the Messiah. We are not just saying or teaching about another religious experience. That's not what the church is. We are not saying about one of the million religious experiences or spiritual experiences you can have. You can come and get it here, come and have it. That's not what the church is telling about. Or maybe you, you want to try something new, come and try this. That's not what the church is telling about. We are proclaiming the Messiah, the Son of the living God. No change in that. He is not one of the gods. He is not one of the people who can save you. He is the only living God. He is the only Savior for this world. That's what we are proclaiming. Where there is no one else, He is the only one. That is what the church is about. That is the uniqueness of what you and I believe in. That is where Christ says in verses 17 and 18, And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon, bar Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So it was not just uh, the personality of Peter, but he was pointing to the faith proclamation of Peter and saying, that is the church, and that is on whom I will build the church. You and I, we are called to proclaim the Messiah to this world. Jesus is not just another Buddha or a Krishna to us. When I see such uh, images being very uh, simply being kept in our homes, we need to ask ourselves, who is Jesus to me? And as Peter says, will we be able to say, 
you are the son of the living god it is not this and that you cannot have both you either you believe in the true living god or you don't believe you cannot have the living god and any other idol for yourselves it and that is where jesus says you will be blessed in in we live in a world where we proclaim so many things through what we say maybe on the social media through our bumper stickers we might just put on things which the world puts we cannot do that we live and we we believe in a true living god you cannot have a a hindu wedding and then come and have a christian wedding and say i believe in christ that is not how it works if you believe in christ stick stick to him that's what i would say believe in the messiah stick to the messiah but if you think he is just another god don't take it don't just be hypocrites let's stick to the faith that we have and that is where we will proclaim to the world we believe in the one true living god and that is what the church is ephesians chapter 4 verses 11 and 12 we read that a few minutes back ephesians chapter 4 verses 11 and 12 and it says so christ himself gave the apostles the prophets the evangelists the pastors and the teachers to equip his people in some uh, versions it says saints for works of service in some version it says ministry so christ is giving the apostles the prophets the evangelists the pastors the teachers to equip his people for what for the ministry for the service so secondly church is the believers equipped for service first i said church is the believers who proclaim secondly church is the believers who are equipped for the service we are here to equip the people for service that's what we as pastors evangelists missionaries bishops we are called to do that each one of us have been called to serve christ each one of us you cannot say that ministry is something for some special people no that's the misinterpretation of full time ministry part time ministry and no time ministry that has crept into our lives all of us we are called to serve and minister to the lord if you claim yourself to be the church you are called to serve the lord the ministry of the church is upon not just upon the pastors or the bishops or the evangelists or the some uh, few people but it is upon every believer who has been called to it it is like a school so we take our children to the school you have teachers who will equip them to grow in life to build up their skills now it's not just the teachers the efforts of the parents go into it the efforts of the children also go into it and that's where the children are equipped to face the world you cannot just put the blame on the teachers and say oh it's because of the teachers that my child did not grow up well can we ever do that no we'll have to take the responsibilities our children has to take the responsibilities of course the uh, uh, the the influence of the teachers are there but then it's all everyone who work together and that's how it works in our life so how do we serve that's a question where do we serve we serve here we serve here in the choir we serve in the sunday school we serve in the youth fellowship we serve in the yuvajan sakyam we serve in the edavu mission the sevya sangam 
the senior citizens fellowship ask young family fellowship we have so many so many avenues to be equipped and serve the lord it is not that in one day we'll be perfect to do all this but we are being equipped on a daily basis that is why as achan mentioned we have so many things which is available are we making use of all such opportunities that's the big question the marthuma church has this equipping processes from the maybe from the age of 4 5 as a child a child can be brought to the sunday school even younger kids have, are brought to the sunday school from that time till the person would die i would say till the senior citizens at every age there is an equipping process and there is a, a an opportunity for us to serve but how are we using that at every age are we making use of this to serve god church is the believers who are called to serve first corinthians chapter 1 and verse 10 I appeal to you brothers by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that all of you agree and that there be no divisions among you but that you be united in the same mind and the same judgment you be united in the same mind and the same judgment thirdly church is the believers perfectly united in mind and thought church is the believers perfectly united in mind and thought the division in the church was a issue even in the early churches that's why when paul was writing to the church in corinth the first issue that he was dealing even in the first chapter he was telling you have divisions you need to remove that you need to bring unity among yourselves so we may think that uh, the divisions or the you no know, the breakups that we see in the church or the fights that we see in the church happened recently no it was there even from the early church and paul was very profoundly teaching them you need to take away that you need to bring unity in mind and in spirit so that your witness will be a blessed one among people we know that as individuals as human beings we will have our differences of opinion however that does not give us a license to continue in it but to find ways to remove those divisions divisions occur out of difference of opinions it can occur out of ego wealth power struggles positions which we covet jealousy misunderstanding all these can bring divisions and those are the very things we need to work on if we have to overcome these divisions it's not the same in all divisions so as a church we are called to try and resolve such divisions in the best possible way it is sad how internal rifts within the church or even the inter church fights among denominations have become breaking news and channel discussions these days we are called to pray for unity within the church and also among all churches so that the body of christ is not tarnished because of this if the lord is convicting you this morning for the sin of division which could have been done by you i pray that you will ask for forgiveness and take a decision to heal that division today Ezekiel chapter 37 and verse 
23. That was the first lesson that we read today. And it says, They shall not defile themselves anymore with their idols and their detestable things or with any of their transgressions. But I will save them from all the backslidings in which they have sinned and will cleanse and they shall be my people, and I will be their God. And also verses 27 and 28, it says, My dwelling place shall be with them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Then the nations will know that I am the Lord who sanctifies Israel when my sanctuary is in their midst for." Ever. Fourthly and finally, church is the sanctified body of the believers. Church is the sanctified body of the believers. The people of God are cleansed and sanctified by God. That's what the word says. I will cleanse them. I will sanctify them because I dwell among them. It is a reality that we have our impurities and sins, but we also know that he is a loving God who is willing to cleanse us. He does not tell us that we need to clean ourselves and then come to him. No, that's not the way how God works. He says, come just as you are, and I will cleanse you. I will sanctify you. It was that great offering of Christ which brought redemption, which offered payment for our sins because sin is a very costly affair and the payment is life itself. So it was that reason that Christ was given as a payment for us. Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 11 onwards. But when Christ came as high priest of the good things that are now already here, he went through the greater and more perfect tabernacle that is not made with human hands, that is to say, is not a part of this creation. And verse 12, he did not enter by means of the blood of goats and calves, but he entered the most holy place once for all by his own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. The eternal redemption has been given to us through the cleansing blood of Christ. And the reason, as we read down uh, that chapter in verse 14 and the last, it says, so that we may serve the living God. The reason of our redemption is that we will serve the living God. The church is the sanctified body of the believers who are called to serve the living God. You cannot continue living in the sinfulness and claim to be the church. It's not about becoming the perfect, but rather trying to shed away or remove those things which will bring sinfulness within us. It is to remove those things that will take us away from the purpose that God has for us. It is not to be, it is to be aware of how we need to safeguard ourselves so that we can flee the, uh, the sins that is always around us. We live in a world where pandemics is there and the vaccine is here. The vaccine is assuring us a protection, but some of us still doubt that. That is also, uh, you know, uh, maybe... Uh, a part of us today. We are still doubting whether it will give us the expected results. The vaccines may give up up to 94 or 95% of protection. That's what it says. But for you and me believing in Christ, Christ is assuring us 100% salvation. It's not saying you may be saved. No. If you and I believe in Christ, 100% salvation is being assured to us of all who believe and accept him as the Savior. However, even 
in the world, in this world, we know that when we have the vaccine, the doctor says, still try, keep protecting yourself with a mask. Doesn't mean that you can just walk around any way you want. That's what the word says too. Even when salvation has been given to you, you need to protect yourself. You need to guard yourself and be aware that the sinfulness is always around you. Be sanctified by the cleansing blood of the Lamb every day. That is the great responsibility that we have in our lives today, sanctified in our thoughts, in our words, in our decisions, in our actions, in our lifestyles, in our relationships, in our habits, in our family, in our workplaces, in everything we do. We need to find that sanctification so that we will not go through sinfulness. Sinfulness is there, but we need to protect and sanctify ourselves. Four things which I wanted to remind you this morning. Who is the church? One church is the one who proclaims the Messiah. We have to proclaim the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Two, church is the believers equipped for service. It's not just a thought process. We need to do something. We need to serve the Lord. Three, church is the perfectly united in mind and thought. A believers who is united in mind and thought. And fourth, church is the sanctified body of the believers. The sanctification has to happen in our lives so that we will live a life which is worthy of the great calling upon us. May God be with us. May God help each one of us to be the church in our lives. Live streaming Jesus 24-7, 365 days a week, a year till the end of our life. May God bless us. Let's pray. Father, we come again into your presence and we submit ourselves. This morning, we know, Master, that you have called us to be the church in this world, to proclaim aloud that we believe in the Messiah, the Son of the living God, that we have been redeemed, we have been sanctified, and we need to live a life of sanctification Father, we know, O oh Master, that this sanctification and this calling is so that we will serve you each day of our life. Help us to use all the opportunities that we have, O oh Master, to serve you and to glorify you. Help us, O oh Master, to be united as one body because we are part of your body. We thank you, we praise you, we glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Those who come prepared for the Holy Communion, please stand and repeat the prayer of confession after me. Vishuddha Gubana Kaikalwanai, Uringi Vandatilova, Kumbasar than a Prathana Gai. Irikina Sadh in the Tuna, Kumbasar than a Prathana, and Divinale Etivaria. Adi Malayala Tilum, Turana, English Mula, Pratana, Parima Sarva Shakti Ula Baba Dambirani Nenaka Virothamayum, Loga the Richipanai Tonda Krabayal Vishuddha Kane Mariam the Jenicha, Jungal Kuendi, Kasta the Anabucha Maricha, Jungal Karachan Liga Mashia Dambirani Nenaka Virothamayum, Sagalate MG Pig in the Venom. Ash is a pitcher should hear it in the Maya, but it should hand Mavan the Berani, Nenaka Virothamayu, Yanche the Boya, Sagala Pavangli, eight to Boronja Sangarapudum. Satima Yaradabik in the Re Kaikulavana, Nijerik in the Wagdan and Vishusich, Salatan Pedichu in the Native Rain, Vijaratilum, Vajanatilum, Robertilum and Pedichu, Nenagalpana Lam and Lenkichu. In the six shake, a patra magi em chidrikin. Karni vanum, Krabandarajanamai kartavi. Chunga karni, a pavi eyes three. Kurishil which a colony, Kaikonda bragad, a name Kaikonda, Ninde, Tirujanatana tanapan, and the ashes of Pikanami. Kartavi, 
ഞാൻ അനുഭവിക്കുന്ന തിരുശീലനത്തിൽ രക്തു എനിക്ക് ശിക്ഷാവധിയും കുറ്റത്തിനുമായി തീരാതെ ജീവനം രക്ഷയ്ക്കുമാക്കി തീർക്കണമേ ആമേ ഐ കൺഫസ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ ഹാവ് സിൻ നെഗസ്റ്റ് യു ഓ ഫാദർ സൺ ആൻഡ് ഹോളി സ്പിരിറ്റ് ഇൻ തോട്ട് വേർഡ് ആൻഡ് ഡീഡ് ഐ ആം സോറി വിത്ത് ഓൾ മൈ ഹാർട്ട് ഫോർ ദീസ് മൈ സിൻസ് ഐ ബിലീവ് ഇൻ യുവർ പ്രോമിസ് ദാറ്റ് യു വിൽ റിസീവ് ഓൾ ദോസ് ഹൂ ടു വില് റിപ്പൻറ്റ് ഓ ലോഡ് ഹൂ ഈസ് മേഴ്സ്ഫുൾ ആൻഡ് ഫുൾ ഓഫ് ഗ്രേസ് അക്സെപ്റ്റ് മീ ഈവൻ ആസ് യു അക്സെപ്റ്റ് ദ പബ്ലിക് the woman who was a sinner and the thief on the cross comfort me with the consolation of your word o lord grant that your holy body and holy blood in which i now partake may redeem me from judgment and condemnation and bring me to life and wholeness amen may god almighty be compassionate to all of you who have truly confessed your sins god has freely forgiven your sins to make you worthy to partake in this holy communion amen Dearly beloved pray with me that this service may be acceptable to the Lord we have been in the Lord we have come to your house and we pray for your blessing sanctify us and our church O Lord hear us and our prayers of all you have promised that we will be with you and we will be with you you will be in our midst we pray that you make us strong in us your people as we talk to the apostles o god our lord of all make us worthy to greet one another with a kiss of peace freed from all insincerity and united in love to you o father and to your holy son and to your holy spirit We give you praise and glory now and forever. Amen. Peace be with you all. And also with you. In the love of our Lord God, let us greet one another in peace. In the love and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, abide with us forever. May the love and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ Abide with us forever. May the, May the love and peace of our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ abide with us forever. Brothers and sisters, having received this holy and divine peace, let us bow our head before the merciful Lord. Gracious Lord, we bow to you. Merciful Father, you dwell on high, yet condescend to look upon things that are lowly. Bless now those who have bowed their heads in your presence with the grace of your only son with whom and with the holy spirit be accept all praise and glory now and forever Amen Beloved brothers and sisters let us participate in this holy qurbana which is now offered to us with commitment reverence humility purity of heart love true faith and devotion to god the father to whom all things belong is offered sacrifice of grace peace and praise in the spirit of unity and concord the love of god the father the grace of the only begotten son the communion and abiding presence of the holy spirit be with you all dearly beloved 
now and forever. And also with you. May our hearts be with Christ on high. Our hearts truly are with the Lord. To sing praises and worship the Creator of all things. As surely is good and right. Who is adored by the heavenly host, the sun and moon and all the stars, the earth and seas and all that dwell there, angels and archangels, thrones and paths, cherubim and seraphim, ever proclaiming. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, heaven and earth are full of His glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is who has to come, and is to come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. When the sinless one of His own will chose to suffer death for us sinners, He took bread in His holy hands. Bless, O Lord. He gave thanks, blessed sanctified and broke it and gave it to his apostles saying take eat this is my body given for you do this in remembrance of me Amen. in the same manner he took the cup bless the lord he gave thanks blessed sanctified and gave it to his apostles saying drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for many for the forgiveness of sins Amen. thus as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup you proclaim the lord's death until he comes O oh lord we remember your death we will celebrate your resurrection and we await your second coming. May your blessing rest upon us all. O Lord, as we remember your death for real resurrection, ascension, and look forward to your second coming to judge the world in righteousness and truth, we offer this service and sacrifice, entreating you not to deal with us according to our sins, but according to your abundant mercy and save. Have mercy upon us, O Lord our God. We give thanks to you, we praise you, we glorify you, and we worship you. O source of all goodness, have mercy on us and bless us. Answer unto us, O Lord. Answer unto us, O Lord. Answer unto us, O Lord. And by your grace, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Holy Spirit sanctify this bread, that it may be the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Holy Spirit sanctify the wine in this chalice, that it may be the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. O Lord, sanctify the bodies and souls of those who receive these gifts, that they may bear fruit for the stability of your holy church. Establish ever firmly your holy church, founded on the rock of faith, against which the gates of hell shall not prevail and preserve her to the end from strife and error. To you with the Son and the Holy Spirit we offer praise and thanksgiving, both now and forever. Amen. Look with mercy, O Lord, on your holy Catholic Church, throughout the world on all the bishops, who bear the burden of leading and guiding young, especially our Father and God, the William Metropolitan, the Metropolitan, the Moderators of CSA and CNI, Archbishop of the Anglican Church, our Diocesan Episcopal, other bishops, priests, deacons, evangelists, faithful members of our Church, and seekers of the faith. Lord, we remember all who exercise authority in various countries, especially in this country, 
Give to each one your Holy Spirit, that they may diligently walk in your vineyard. Lord, have mercy. Lord, we remember the Mother of our Lord, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Holy Apostles, the Prophets, the Preachers, the Evangelists, the Martyrs, the Confessors, and all the Saints. Lord, we remember the three councils of Nicaea, Constantinople, and Ephesus, and all the Holy Fathers who participated in them. Make us worthy to follow in their footsteps. Lord, we also remember all the faithful who are departed and fallen asleep in the true faith. Grant that we also may with them be counted worthy for the remission of our sins and be gathered into your heavenly kingdom. Lord, we thank you for the beautiful universe you have created and the life and possibilities of it. Forgive us, O Lord, for we have distorted the universe for our greed and selfishness. Help us, O Lord, to be good and faithful stewards for the fulfillment of your will. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. The blessings of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all dearly beloved, now and forever. And with you also. Let us spend some time in intercessory prayer. Let us submit before the Lord those who are sick, those who have requested for our prayers, anyone here in the sanctuary is going through any sickness or pain, let us submit them into the hands of the Lord. Let's pray for those who are sick and those who are admitted in the hospitals undergoing various treatments. Especially at this time, let us pray for people who are affected by the COVID virus. Pray that God will deliver them, bring healing upon their lives. Let us pray for our church, especially let us pray for our metropolitan, our Willie metropolitan, the, the bishops of the church, the clergy, the evangelists, the missionaries, the lay volunteers, so many people who are involved in leading the ministry of the church. As a church, let us commit ourselves before the Lord and pray that God will help us to be the church in the homes that we are placed, in the communities that we are placed, and that we will be able to serve Him and glorify Him through our lives. Let us pray for the diocese that we belong to, especially let us pray for our diocesan bishop, Dr. Isaac Mar Philexinos Episcopatermeni. Pray that God will continue to bless him and his leadership to the diocese, to its various mission projects, to the various parishes and the organizations in the diocese. Let us pray for our parish. Let us thank God for all the families in our parish. Pray that God will keep us all united in his love. Especially at this time, let us pray for our vicar, Anish Thomasachin and family. Pray that God will continue to bless them and their ministry among us so that they will be a blessing to each one of us as individuals, as families, and as a parish. Let us pray for our children and our youths. Pray that God will enable them to grow in faith, to be able witnesses for him in the life positions that God will raise them to be. Let us commit all our personal needs before the Lord. Those who are sick, let us pray for healing. 
those who are going through various mental agonies, let us pray for comfort and guidance. Let us pray for bereaved families. Let us pray that God will comfort them, strengthen them, give them hope that they will meet their loved one again in his presence. Let us pray for all our young people who are looking forward for new jobs. Pray that God will bring new opportunities to them, that, God, that they'll be able to build up their careers. Let us pray for our youths of marriageable age, that God will enable them to find the best partner whom God has chosen for them and enter into a blessed Christian family life. Let us pray for our young families, especially those who are struggling in their relationships, brokenness in their family life. Pray that God will bring healing, that God will bring restoration and reconciliation that they'll be able to endure through whatever difference of opinions that they have and be rooted together, bounded in the love of Christ each day of their life. Let us pray for young families who are earning to have a child in their family lives. Let's pray that God will bless them according to his will at his time. Let us pray for expectant mothers Pray that God will keep them and the fruit of their womb blessed during these difficult times that we are going through. Let us pray for young parents who are taking care of infants. Pray that God will enable them to balance their work life and taking care of the infants in the most responsible and faithful and loving way that they could. Let us also pray for single parents, pray that God will bless them, strengthen them, enable them to faithfully, lovingly fulfill the responsibilities that is upon their lives. Let us pray for all our frontline workers, those in the medical field, those in the research field, those in different administrative level. Pray that God will bless them, strengthen them to faithfully do all their duties which will bring deliverance, which will bring healing upon people around and in the communities that they serve. Let us pray for our nation as the nation gears up for the inauguration of the new president. Let us pray that there will be a peaceful transition of power that as the inauguration of the president happens on the 20th of this month, that God will be in control of every events and that there will be peace around this nation. Let us commit our loved ones especially those who are far away from us, maybe our parents, our grandparents, our brothers and sisters, our relatives, our loved ones who are far away from us, our children, grandchildren, wherever they are, that the Lord will keep them all blessed, strengthened, healthy, protected, and enable them to glorify God through their lives. Let us submit all our personal needs, our pains, our doubts, our questions, our challenges, things which we would not have shared with anyone else. Let us submit it before the Lord and let's pray that God will take us through whatever we are going and bring new blessings in our life. Let us silently pray for a moment. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. O God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
make perfect the offerings and oblations presented before you sanctify our bodies souls and spirit so that with pure and confident hearts we may address you as god and father and pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be your name may your kingdom come may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day of our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us do not bring us to the time of trial but deliver us from the evil one for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever amen may the grace mercy and blessings of the holy and glorious trinity uncreated self-existent eternal adorable one in essence be with you all dearly beloved now and forever and also with you o holy and gracious trinity have mercy on us holy things for holy people holy is the one father holy is the one son holy is the one spirit glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit one from the beginning forever and ever amen the one holy father who created the world in his mercy is with us amen the one holy son who saved it by his precious passion is with us amen the one living spirit who makes perfect and fulfills all that is and that has been is with us may the name of the lord be blessed as in the beginning both now and forever son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning it's now and ever shall be amen o lord at your come and death had all this way you have abolished death through your resurrection from the dead therefore we praise and exalt you o lord every mouth shall sing your praise o lord who gathers up the children of adam from everywhere bless us and help us O Son of God, your death has changed our death into life. Raise us from the dust, so that we may praise you. 
God the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit, is worthy of glory and worship forever. From the beginning and from generation to generation, may he be praised. Hallelujah. O Son of God, who came for our salvation and will come again for our resurrection and for the renewal of our race. Grant, we pray, forgiveness of sins to your servants through your own atoning sacrifice. O oh Lord God, graciously bless these, your children who partake of your most precious body and blood which was given on Calvary for the forgiveness of sins, that they may abide in your presence forever. Amen. The blessings of Jesus Christ, our great God and Savior, be on those who bear these sacred mysteries, on those who dispense them, those who receive them, and all who have participated and who shall participate in them. The grace of God be on us all, both now and forever. Lord, have mercy and bless us. Glory and praise be to you, our Lord and our lasting refuge. the holy body and blood of us, Son and Savior Jesus Christ, which was broken and shed for us on the Calvary, is given to you for the health of your body and soul. Receive it with thanksgiving. Amen.
Let us spend a moment thanking God for this great blessing that he gave to be here again in this sanctuary to worship God, to partake in the Holy Communion. Let us pray that this blessing that we have received today, as we go out of this sanctuary, that we will continue to live according to this blessing, shining the light of Jesus, proclaiming the living God through our lives, through our actions, through our words. Let us submit ourselves. Let us submit all our loved ones before the Lord, especially those who are unable to be here before the Lord, and pray silently for a moment. Hallelujah. 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 Praise be to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. May the holy body and blood of which we have now partaken be not for our condemnation, but for life and salvation to us all. O God, grant us your blessings. O dear shall bow down before you, and every tongue shall praise your holy name. For you give life to the dead, you are the hope of all our in the grave. We praise you, O Lord, and give you thanks for your mercy towards us. We praise you, O Lord, because in your abundant mercy you have fed and strengthened us with the precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have thereby made us one with all the members of his mystical body, we pray you to give us grace to continue in that holy fellowship and ever to offer glory and praise to you and to your only begotten Son and to your Holy Spirit. Amen. Bless us, O Lord Almighty. You are our God, the Creator. My beloved brothers and sisters, I commend you to the grace and blessings of the holy and glorious Trinity. Depart in peace and serve the Lord with the gifts and blessings that you have received from the atoning sacrifice of the Lord. Amen. You both near and far, who are saved by the victorious cross and sealed with the seal of holy baptism, this holy trinity will forgive you your sins and comfort your souls. Amen. Pray for me, my brothers and sisters, weak and sinful as I am, that I may obtain mercy and help. Depart in peace, filled with gladness and rejoicing. May the Lord accept your ministration and help us by your prayers. Amen. Please be seated. Now, announcements by second.
ഗുഡ് ആഫ്റ്റർനൂൺ കൽപ്പന ഉള്ളത് വായിച്ചുകൊള്ളട്ടെ ടീലി ബിലോവ്ഡ് ഇൻ ക്രൈസ്റ്റ് എ പ്രസന്റ് പ്രീസ് റവറൻ അനീഷ് തോമസ് തോമസ് ഇസ് ട്രാൻസ്ഫേർഡ് ഫ്രം യുവർ പാരീഷ് ടു അനദർ പാരീഷ് ഓഫ് ദ മാർത്തോമ ചർച്ച് ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ റവറൻ റജി യോഹനാൻ ഈസ് അപ്പോയിന്റഡ് യുവർ ന്യൂ പ്രീസ്റ്റ് ദ അപ്പോയിൻമെന്റ് ഈസ് ഫോർ ത്രീ ഇയേഴ്സ് ഫ്രം ഫസ്റ്റ് മെയ് ടു തൗസൻഡ് ട്വന്റി വൺ ദ എബോ ട്രാൻസ്ഫർ വിൽ കം ഇൻ ടു എഫക്ട് ഓൺ മെയ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ടു തൗസൻഡ് ട്വന്റി വൺ ദ പ്രീസ്റ്റ് ആർ അലോഡ് വൺ വീക്ക് ജോയിനിങ് ടൈം ഇൻ ദ റെസ്പെക്റ്റീവ് ന്യൂ പാരീഷസ് യു ആർ ഓക്കെ ടു പേ ദ ട്രാവൽ എക്സ്പെൻസസ് ഓഫ് ഔട്ട് ഗോയിങ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻകമിംഗ് പ്രീസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദെയർ ഫാമിലി മെമ്പേഴ്സ് ദ ഔട്ട് ഗോയിങ് പ്രീസ്റ്റ് ഷുഡ് ഷുഡ് ബി പേഡ് ഓൾ ഫണ്ട്സ് ഡ്യൂ ടു ഹിം ആസ് പേ ദ കൽപ്പന ഓഫ് ദ ഡയോസിസ് ബിഷപ്പ് ഓർ ദ മെട്രോപോളിറ്റൻ I thank Reverend Anish Thomas Thomas and family for their services in that parish and pray that they may continue to bear fruits in the faith journey of the Marthoma Church. I solicit your cooperation and prayers for the new priest and family joining your parish. U.S. in Christ Service, Dr. Theodosius Marthoma Metropolitan. Dearly beloved in Christ, The Episcopal Synod met on January 21, 2021 has approved the Minister of the Diocese of Assembly of the Diocese of North America and Europe held at Carmel Marthama Central and via online platform on December 12, 2020. The main decisions are as follows. They are informed to all concerned to implementation. 1. The annual report and annual accounts for the year 2019 and budget for the year 2020 were passed. resolved to authorize the diocesan council to pay the expenses of the last 6 months of the year 2020 and the 6 months of the year 2021 not exceeding 6 toll of the expense of the year 2020 3 resolved to appoint mr babu mukhalel cpe as external auditor for the year 2020 and 2021 the following members were elected for the office bearers and diocesan council members for the year 2020 and 2023 Diocesan Secretary, Rev. Aju Abraham, Diocesan Treasurer, Mr. George P. Babu. Diocesan Council Members, Mr. Renu Varghese, Rev. Shibu Pallichura, Mr. Aju Daniel, Mr. Jason Thomas George, Mr. Shan Matthew, Mr. George Samuel, Rev. Christopher Phil Daniel, Ms. Lexia Lexine Varghese, Ms. Sinsi Chako, Mrs. Jolly Babu, Rev. Jacob P. Thomas, Mr. Sean Vargis, Dr. Eliam Matthew, Dr. Vargis Manalur, Mr. Umachan Matthew. Five, decided to start a study program at Carmel Marthoma Center, titled as Marthoma Institute and Mission and Culture, a project in honor of Right Rev. Dr. Isaac Mar Felix Noh's 70th birthday. Six, this decision to look into the possibility for starting the lay chaplaincy ministry in the diocese let us praise god for all the guidance and blessings we received as, as a diocese all the members and clergy parishioners and congregation were hereby informed to prayerfully involve in the ministry of the church and cooperate, cooperate with the, all the diocese implementation these implement these decisions may the blessings of the god be with us all us in christ ministry right on dr isa mar felix nos diocesan bishop regular activities next sunday we have a holy communion service in malayalam at 10:30 am reverend anish thomas thomas will lead this service inviting all families to attend the holy communion service this coming sunday online sign up will open today evening sign up will be first come first served basis for 40 people ebenasa prayer group will be assisting with the lesson reading tuesday prayer at 6:30 pm through zoom conference call wednesday 9:30 am fasting prayer through zoom conference call Friday at 7 p.m. Youth Fellowship through Zoom Conference Call. Saturday at 5 p.m. High School Fellowship through Zoom Conference Call. Saturday at 6.30 p.m. Common Prayer through Zoom Conference Call. General Announcements. Deacon Ordination of Jeswin John. I will be ordinated as Deacon on January 21st at Kumbalandhanam St. John's MTC, Ayurur. My home parish is Assumption Marthama Church, Philadelphia, requesting your prayers. inviting the prayerful participation of the members of the Christos Martha Machas the ordination will begin at 9 9 pm eastern standard time on january 20th the live stream also will be available 
താങ്ക് യു ജസ്വിൻ ജോൺ ഈ ലൈവ് സ്ട്രീമിൻ്റെ ലിങ്ക് ഓരോരുത്തർക്കും ഇമെയിലായിട്ട് ആരാധനയ്ക്ക് ശേഷം അയച്ചു തരുന്നതുമാണ് യങ് ഫാമിലി ഫെലോഷിപ്പ് മീറ്റിംഗ് ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് യങ് ഫാമിലി ഫെലോഷിപ്പ് മീറ്റിംഗ് വിൽ ബി ഹെൽഡ് ഓൺ സൺഡേ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ടുഡേ സെവൻറ്റീൻത്ത് ജനുവരി ടു തൗസൻഡ് ട്വൻറ്റി വൺ അറ്റ് ഫൈവ് പി എം വി ആർ സോ അവർ ആനുവൽ ഇലക്ഷൻ ഓൾസോ വിൽ ബി ഹെൽഡ് ഓൺ ദിസ് ഡേ പ്ലീസ് പ്രേ ഫുള്ളി അറ്റൻഡ് ദിസ് മീറ്റിംഗ് ഷെറി തോമസ് യങ് ഫാമിലി ഫെലോഷിപ്പ് സെക്രട്ടറി എം ടി വി എ സൗത്ത് ഈസ്റ്റ് റീജിയൻ പ്രേയർ മീറ്റിംഗ് ആസ് യു ഓൾ നോ ദ വേൾഡ് ഇസ് സ്റ്റിൽ സഫറിംഗ് ഫ്രം ദ കോവിഡ് നയൻറ്റീൻ വയറൽ പെൻഡമിക് Prayer is giving very important power at all time. Martha Ma Voluntary Evangelist Association, South East Region, next teleconference prayer will be conducted on Monday, January 18, 2021 from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Dr. Vino Daniel will speak from the Word of God. Your prayerful presence is requested. Vargis K. Joseph, MTBS, South East Region, Secretary. Diocese Martha Ma Suvishesha Sevilla Sangam Announcement. The Diocese Marthama Suvishesha Sabiya Sangam bi-monthly prayer meeting is scheduled to be held on January 23, 2021. During the meeting, we would like to reintroduce the idea of Young Women's Fellowship of Sabiya Sangam, which is a goal to engage younger women to strengthen the activities of Sabiya Sangam and encourage intergenerational connect- connectedness. Please encourage all women in your parish to participate in the meeting. our diocesan bishop and president right around dr isamar philosnos and right around dr ebraham paulos president of the sevia sangam will be sharing their thoughts suma chako diocesan marathama association sevia sangam secretary sevia sangam center beard announcement undu one minute സുശ്ര സേവ്യ സംഘം സെൻട്രൽ ബി മീറ്റിംഗ് സേവ്യ സംഘം സൗത്ത് ഈസ്റ്റ് റീജിയൽ സെൻട്രൽ ബി മന്ത്ലി മീറ്റിംഗ് വി ആർ ടെലി കോൺഫറൻസ് വിച്ച് ഇസ് ഓൺ വെനസ്ഡേ ഫ്രം എയ്റ്റ് പി എം ടു നയൻ പി എം മെസ്സേജ് ഫോർ ദിസ് മീറ്റിംഗ് വിൽ ബി ഗിവൺ ബൈ മിസ്സസ് ജിഷ കൊച്ചമ്മ വൈഫ് ഓഫ് റവർ അഞ്ചൻ സം കെ മാത്യു അസംഷൻ എം ഡി എസ് സി പ്ലീസ് എൻകറേജ് ദ മെമ്പേഴ്സ് ടു അറ്റൻഡ് ദിസ് പ്രേ മീറ്റിംഗ് ദി പ്രേ മീറ്റിംഗ് ഈസ് എ ബ്ലെസ്സിംഗ് ഫോർ എവറി വൺ ഇൻ ദ പാൻഡമിക് പീരിയഡ് മേ ഗോഡ് ബ്ലസ് യു ഓൾ സേവ്യ സംഘം സെൻട്രൽ ബി സെക്രട്ടറി ഷീല ഡാനിയൽ ഇത്രയുമാണ് നമുക്ക് ഈ ആഴ്ചയിലുള്ള അനുവൻസ്മെൻറ്റുകൾ എല്ലാവർക്കും അനുഗ്രഹത്തിൻ്റെയും സന്തോഷത്തിൻ്റെയും ഒരു പുതിയ ഒരാഴ്ചയുടെ നേരുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നു ഈ ഒരു അനുഗ്രഹമായ ദിവസം നമുക്ക് ലഭിച്ചതായ കൂട്ടായ്മയ്ക്കായിട്ടും കൂട്ടിവരവിൻ്റെ അനുഗ്രഹത്തിനായിട്ടും ദൈവത്തിന് നന്ദി കരേറ്റാം ദൈവകൃപയിൽ ആശ്രയിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് ഈ പുതിയ വർഷവും ദൈവമായുള്ള ബന്ധത്തിൽ ജീവിപ്പാൻ ദൈവം നമ്മളെല്ലാവരെയും സഹായിക്കട്ടെ എന്ന് പ്രത്യേകമായി പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു നമുക്ക് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാം ഞങ്ങളുടെ കർത്താവും ഞങ്ങളുടെ ദൈവമേ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഒരുമിച്ച് ലഭിച്ചതായ എല്ലാം നല്ല കൂടിവരവിൻ്റെ അനുഗ്രഹങ്ങൾക്കായെന്നൊരു സ്തോത്രം കർത്താവെ ഈ പ്രഭാവത്തിൽ നിൻ്റെ സന്നദ്ധിയിൽ കടന്നു വരുവാനും നിന്നെ ആരാധിപ്പാനും മഹത്വപ്പെടുത്തുവാനും വചനം കേൾക്കുവാനും ഒക്കെ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഭാഗ്യം നൽകിയില്ല ഞങ്ങളായിരിക്കുന്ന ഇടങ്ങളിൽ ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ സാക്ഷികളായി കർത്താവെ നിലനിൽപ്പാൻ ഞങ്ങൾ തന്നെ ഒരു ആരാധന ഇടങ്ങളായും ഞങ്ങളുടെ ജീവിതം ഓരോ ആരാധനയായും മാറുവാൻ ദൈവമേ അവിടെ നിന്ന് സഹായിക്കണമേ എന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു രോഗികൾക്ക് സൗഖ്യം നൽകണം വേദനയിലും വേർപാട് ദുഃഖത്തിലും വായിക്കുന്നവരെ ആശ്വസിപ്പിക്കണം തിരുനാമം എല്ലായ്പ്പോഴും എല്ലായിടങ്ങളും മഹത്വമെടുക്കണം യേശു മൂലം പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു ദൈവവും നീ കേൾക്കുമാറാകണമേയും ആമേ താങ്ക് യു ഈ ശുശ്രൂഷയുടെ പൂർണ്ണമായിരുന്നു